Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to this absolutely spectacular look that I love so 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 much. So uh, <laughs> I got this palette. Uh, two days ago. I got this palette two days ago and uh, I could not wait to sit down and, and play with this. So this is Makeup Revolution. It's the Forever Flawless Ice Palette that just got released not too long ago, maybe two weeks ago or something. I ordered it and it came to me within five days and I'm so happy because I'm never someone who can actually present something that is really new. Like it's it's just very very rare for my channel because of where I live. So that is for me this is spectacular. So I dug into this palette today. I had not used Makeup Revolution ever before and I was super nervous and super excited at the same time to try out the Revolution formula and this is the result that we got today. So um, obviously, <laughs> spoiler alert, you you see already that I love the look and that it performed really really well. I think, I really do think that it did. So but if you want to see how I created that look and my fi final thoughts at the end of the video, then of course please keep on watching. Okay, hi my sweeties. So it's time to do a look. It's time to do a look. It's very early in the morning. Let's check. It's check the time, it's 4.45 and I have to do a look. I want to take my kids downtown today, so we should go all out. <laughs> so as you know from the intro, we're gonna do a look today with the uh, Forever Flawless Ice Revolution palette. <laughs> anyway, I'm in a very good mood today. So uh, this is this is how she looks and I am so excited because this is actually the first time that I'm trying this. I probably told you in the intro already so I don't know. Um, this is the first time that I'm trying a Makeup Revolution formula and I so want to love it. I so want to love it. I've, I'm, uh, I don't know because people are telling everywhere that Makeup Revolution palettes are not good so it is very very hard to not be already a little bit biased in one direction or the other. So I really, I'm gonna try to really, really give this my best shot. And I hope, I really hope that this is gonna work out. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, or what I'm planning to do, is that I'm gonna do a full cut cut crease, um, and I'm gonna try to let the, the cut crease like flare out like a little bit more than I usually do. And I wanna use I think for my crease and above, I want to use definitely this blue because it's so beautiful. And then probably blend it out with this one. So this is called Iceberg, this is called Freeze. And then blend that one out with Drench because I think this looks super cool. And then for the cut crease itself, I think I want to do um, Icicle in the inner part or in the inner third. And then this one, Ocean, at the medium middle third <laughs> and then this one arctic the dark blue um at the outer wing so that is the plan and uh i'm very excited okay so let's zoom in and let's let's try our best okay so let's start with a coffee <laughs> because i just have to stay awake and then i'm going to take a a bit of a it's not a pencil brush but it's sort of like a denser kind of packing brush but round I don't know if that makes sense I you know explaining is a hard thing all right and I'm gonna take up that first shade which is this one the, the shade called iceberg this one and I'm just gonna try to put down my first like the the, the outlining of the cut crease let's let's put it that way This is super exciting because really I have not, as I told you, I have not tried this formula yet. Um, the very, like the very first impression of the very first stroke is not super strong, but it's coming through. So let's see if it's buildable. And it is actually, it is very smooth. I didn't, I didn't expect it. I thought it would be like much drier because they feel like they're very tightly packed, but um, I actually think that this is this is gonna be not so bad. <laughs> so let's just see. Okay. 
Okay, as you can see, I'm gonna try to let this, this lower part here of the cut crease, that I'm gonna try to extend it, let it extend out beyond my eyebrows. Usually I use my eyebrows as the borderline for my looks, but um, I think I wanna try to have it bigger, go bigger. <laughs> So this is what I call the owl stage because I always feel like this looks like an owl. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm just going to take that same brush and I'm just going to diffuse a little bit the, the borderline here and then I'm going to put down the next shade. Okay, now I'm taking a bit of a bigger brush, like a crease brush, and I'm going in with this shade here, which is called Freeze. And I'm placing it right above the edge of the shade Iceberg, the darker one, the one that we have on. <laughs> okay, so this is how the look looks so far. Um, I must say the if you try to sweep on those shades, they disappear. I, at least after those first two shades, that's what I think. If you stamp them on, like really stamp them on instead of sweeping them on or doing circular motions, then the pigmentation is good like this. So um, I'm actually pretty happy. And it, like in all cases, what I always say, you have to start to learn your eyeshadow that is right in front of you now because all of them work differently. Every palette is different. Even I want to say most palettes that are even from the same brand, you have to look at them on their own. So uh, let's see. And first of all, as you know, this is the first time that I'm using this, uh, this brand. So let's see. Uh, for now, as what I can say till now, or however one says that, <laughs> um, it, it actually looks good. It actually looks good. So I have not blended yet sufficiently. This is really just for the placement, as I always tell you, as I always do. So let's go in with the next one, which is the shade Drench. And this is actually a very extraordinary shade. I really, really love this. This is like a super, super light mint green. It sort of really, it, it reminds me of like ice and ice cold water and actually you know what I think it's super cool that they called a shade Titanic I have been from early childhood on so fascinated by the Titanic and it's so my brother and I we always said that we are gonna be the ones who bring up the Titanic and restore the ship and we had this whole dream and this whole thing and we had already chosen a place where we we're gonna set it up and make a museum out of it so that <laughs> Yeah, childhood dreams. Anyway, so we always wanted to be the adventurous people who do that. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right, again, I do have the feeling that, that stamping it on, I don't know if you can see that, that, that that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm sort of just going like this with the brush. Stamping it on um, works much, much better. The second I do something else, it actually just like fades away and disappears. So this last shade here, the shade Drench, I'm uh, keeping that just in this area. I'm not taking it down here. I'm just taking it from here to here in order to blend out this, this area here. Um, and I think, I think this is actually gonna look good. I will though, let me just get one more brush, maybe a little bit more, like a finer brush, a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take this shade, the Frostbite shade, which is a light bone color matte. And I'm gonna just sweep that right under my eyebrows, just to set the, the con uh, not the concealer, the eyeshadow primer there. Just a tiny sliver and then we'll continue with the blending. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the blend. Um, I just want to actually go in with that very first brush that was sort of like a pencil brush and pick up that first shade, the dark blue again, and just reapply that a little bit right, right down here, just to re-intensify it because it has sort of disappeared a tiny little bit, which is a normal thing to happen. That is not um, nothing against those shadows. I just want to make it reappear because of my excessive blending, which I always do because I'm such a blending addict. <laughs> 
yeah so just so we have this this the benefit of this super super beautiful dark blue and don't lose that and then I'm gonna place my cut crease and then I'm gonna be right back okay the cut crease is in place and I think so far I'm actually pretty impressed because um, the, the application, yes, you have to sort of stamp it on, but the blending is actually really, really, really good. Easy, super easy. Okay, so this is the cut crease, and I'm gonna start now with the lightest shade, which is this one, Icicle. And I'm going to put that on my brush, and I'm gonna use again, I don't know if you've seen that video, or if this is, probably this one is coming first. So anyway, I explained in the other video also that I'm using, just for matters of, for the matter of <laughs> precise application, I don't know, is that English? Uh, I don't know, anyway. I'm going to use the concealer brush that I used to create the cut crease. I'm going to use that also for for the application of the shimmers. And I know that is not very usual, that or it is unusual. <laughs> Struggling with the English, really. Um, I'm gonna spray my brush. But that's what I do. And I just wanna encourage you to test, to, well, <laughs> to test find which brushes work for you even if foundation brush is written on it and you want to use that to apply something else you know then ju just do it like whatever you know it's there to serve you and and that's what it should do so look at that that is not bad at all not bad at all so really i'm i'm really surprised I'm getting more and more excited as usual as as soon as the the look starts to come together and starts to progress I the excitement level is really unbearable <laughs> all right so I think now it's time for one of my favorite shades in the palette which is this one the shade called ocean which is like a wonderfully wonderfully blue shiver <laughs> it's blue ah, I just for the life of me I cannot explain I cannot explain colors, I cannot, but it's beautiful, that's all that matters. Okay, so let's spray the brush. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so pretty. And now I'm gonna go in with that very, very dark blue shimmer, which is called Arctic. And I'm gonna finish off the wing, I think. I think that's what has to be done now. And I'm super excited about this look. Now, is this the most fitting look to go shopping with my kids? <laughs> is that ever a concern for Laura? <laughs> ah. Anyway, uh, they, they are so proud of me. As you know, they love the way I look. It's really only the other people who are a little bit, you know, that, that is really something that is starting to stress me out a little bit. While I do understand why people stare, because obviously you don't see a look like this on every street corner. Um, but you know what? I just want to say something about this because I have been on the receiving end of like really staring down their noses in a bad way, not like in a curious way or in a wondering way, but like bad you know and that obviously hurts me that would would hurt any person so um, I just want to say and I also told my kids that because they of course see that too and it, that is not a nice feeling for them that their mom is being treated that way by some people so I just want to say I told them don't you ever do that to people you know, because I'm teaching my kids that, for example, if they see someone in a wheelchair or someone like who is handicapped or who is different, whatever, then you don't go and stare and make faces and like be rude, you know? You can keep whatever you feel or you, you wanna talk about or whatever, you can keep that inside and we'll talk about it later when we're alone, when that, per that person is not being affected by the way you look or you point or you stare. And um, so what I'm asking is really just being treated like what I'm teaching my kids to treat any person that is different. So that is all I want. I don't need 
a plus I don't need um, I don't know I don't need anything I just want to be basically left the way I want to be you know that's that's what I want to be <laughs> so I don't know why people cannot make themselves just be kind I don't know there are kind people. I don't. I don't want to say there are not, not any. P uh, uh, wow, <laughs> that there is not anyone who is kind or who comes up to me and says, "Wow, um, what is this about?" You know, um, and I would never. If someone comes up to me and asks me openly, uh, I would never like brush off a person like this. I would always um, be there to explain or to say or whatever. But um, the other day, I went with my husband on a date, and we had to park underground. This is turning into a story time. <laughs> so we had to park underground and then we had to take the elevator up to street level. And when we entered the elevator, there were already like two young women in, in the elevator. And um, I, I was wearing a, a cut crease like this, different colors, but I think it was like orange and pink or something. No, not, uh, wait, pink and green. Pinks and greens and it was very bold and flamboyant, yes, but you know, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, um, oh, it was it was such a torture because how they looked at me and then they looked at each other and sort of gave the, each other like a smirk kind of a, it was bad. It was really, really bad. And um, then they left and we had to continue on and uh, I asked my husband did I just imagine this or did you see that too and he said yeah I saw it too so that was that was very unpleasant it makes me feel like garbage you know and I don't like to feel like this because after all I'm a queen so yeah anyway just wanted to put that out there um, that I think we should really let people be the way they want to be that's that's what I think so this is I think starting to look really really cool really cool I really love this look I think I'm going to um, intensify those those shimmers still with a different brush because I'm still using this concealer brush here um, just for the matter of how does one say that just for the, the, the precise application that's you know and then I'm gonna just take a like a um, denser packing brush and I'm gonna intensify the eyeshadow still what are we thinking <laughs> I love this one okay so what I did while I was finishing off my cut crease and uh, intensifying the colors I then decided because um, this color here that dark blue shimmer and the shimmer that I put in my crease the first matte um, sort of blended too much into each other so uh, right across that borderline uh, tracing my my cut crease basically I put this this is a what it's called spark liner it's it's a glamour eyeliner <laughs> whatever you know uh, from beauty care and uh, looks like this is it picking up is it picking up I don't know maybe yes no maybe okay so this is how it looks and it is basically a pretty sheer but buildable eyeliner and um, I put that along that line and I think this is so cool. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to put, of course, um, eyeliner and all of that on and my foundation and then I'm gonna come back and we'll do the rest, which is not gonna be so much anymore, I think. It's just gonna be the lower lash line and uh, then we'll finish off the look and I'm super excited about this. Okay, so this is how it looks now that the foundation is on, the eyeliner is on. Um, I love it, I love it. And I also love not just the eyeshadow itself, but also this style, this, this super flared out style. I really, really love it. Like I told you, I've never done that before. I've always kept it within the frame of my, of my eyebrows, but this is really cool. I really love it. Okay, so for the inner corner, I think I'm going to take this, this white shade here Let's see how that performs. And that is called cool. I have a lot of fallout here everywhere, but uh, that's okay. Um, it picks up nicely on the brush. So let's, let's see how that performs. I'm gonna spray the brush though. Pretty good, okay, perfect. So then we still have to make a decision about the lower lash line and Hmm, what are we gonna do, girls? I have no idea. I think, uh, 
I don't want to go super dark. Maybe one of those medium... Let's just see. Okay, let's finish up this and then make a decision about the lower lash line. I think I want to go maybe with one of those middle... <laughs> trying to explain colors I'm gonna show you because I really just can't explain it so um, this is really really cool sorry there is an ambulance going by in case you hear it all right so I think what I'm gonna do is go by already <laughs> anyway um, I think I was actually thinking I was thinking maybe I should go for any of the browns now, but meh, maybe next time. Okay, so maybe let's just go for something that we haven't used yet. What would that be? Maybe, wait, we used this, we used this. So maybe this and this, or maybe this and this. Let's go for this and this. That's what we do. All right, so that's what we'll do. <laughs> let's just dab out the creasing here a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a, hmm, what am I taking? Where's my brush? Okay, two hours later, I finally found my brush. And I'm gonna go in to the darker shade here. It's called Break. And I'm going to place it with an angled brush, a stiff angled brush. And I'm gonna uh, place that right under my, under my lashes, right? And then basically we're just gonna blend it out with the lighter shade. Oh, well, that actually looks exactly like my uh, my waterline now, which I don't know if that was my intention, probably not, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a um, a different brush <laughs> and I'm gonna take this shade here crystal and just place it a bit on top and then drag it down so what I notice immediately is that the second you don't put those shadows on a tacky base they sort of wash away a little bit that um, I did not have that issue on um, on my eye area, on my immediate eye area, because obviously I had my eyeshadow primer there and that was not set. But it is still buildable, so it's okay. Something like that. Hmm? Okay, I'm gonna just finish this off. I put on some falsies and I will do my lips and then I'm gonna come back with the finished look and my final thoughts. All right, my sweeties, we are all done. Uh, that is the look, this is the finished look. And would you have thought that you can create a look like this with a Makeup Revolution palette? If you would have asked me before, I would have said no because everybody is speaking so down on at those palettes and maybe there are some that are not so good but this one is pretty good it is maybe not the best that is out there but what do i know i never have tried anything that is high end never tried like there's a lot of stuff that i haven't tried so but the good thing about that is that I'm absolutely not spoiled and I do feel like I can make stuff work for myself because, or for, for me, I can make stuff work for me because I have the mindset of judging the palette just on its own and, and trying to, to figure out the shadows, how they work, how they want to be spoken to. That's always how I say it, you know, that, that you have to find a way to speak to them, to work with them. So, uh, yeah, so I'm actually pretty, pretty Pretty excited about this look so let's just zoom out a little bit give you a bigger picture of what we have is that good I think so all right so this is the look and like I said I'm super happy I just give you a quick overview of what we used. So for blush, I used the Saharan uh, blush volume 2 palette I used this shadow right here which is called B and then uh, for highlighter, I used the uh, Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Metallic Highlighter in uh, Molten Rose Gold, I think. Yes, Molten Rose Gold, which looks like this. 
And then for my waterline, for my lower waterline, I used uh, this eye uh, pencil, what's it called? Eye liner <laughs> pencil from Pupa, which is this shade 14. It's just a light blue. I wish it would have been lighter though. I, I sort of felt as soon as I put the eyeshadows under my lower lash line, it sort of blended all together and became like the same color. And that was not my intention. I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. And that was the lightest blue I had. If I would have had like a neon blue, Blue, like a light neon blue I would have I would have, would have gone for that so okay so that is that then those those glitter sparkly eyeliners I told you already that that's what I did um, for my wing and I used also from beauty care the waterproof dip liner in the shade uh, 05 which is just a black with silver glitters the silver glitters themselves are so fine you only see them as long as it's wet and then it dries down and you basically don't see them anymore so it's just a black let's let's put it that way and then for my lips i used um two two um things from essence and one is the ultra last instant color lipstick bullet lipstick in, in the shade 16 which is like this and it's a shade weight it's called fancy blush fancy blush but this is matte so I didn't want matte or it's no it's like a satin it's not a true matte but I didn't want matte or anything close to matte so I put this one it's a Prismaglow uh, ultra wet lip gloss <laughs> from the shine 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 series also from Essence and this is in the shade friends of glamour I've used that recently I've used that a lot recently and this it looks pink, but it is not. It When you put it on, it just has the slightest hint of pink and then it has those glitter particles. So that's what I put on top because I just wanted it to be juicy. Okay, so that is that. Mascara and all of that is just so uninteresting. I'm, ugh, I'm not gonna <laughs> bother you with that. So let's go straight to the palette. Okay, so what do I think about this palette? Um, actually, the mattes that we used, and that's quite a few if you remember, we used, we started with this, then we did this one and this one, and under the lower lash line we used this one and this one. So we basically used five mattes, five mattes, and three shimmers, and I think that's pretty good for one look. Um, the mattes actually performed really, really well, especially on a primer, eyeshadow primer that was not set. When I used them under my lower lash line, they were a little bit more like patchy and and not as impactful. So, you, but they were buildable. Let's put it that way. But if like I always have my eyeshadow not set, no, my eyeshadow primer not set. Sorry. So that means that it is tacky and the the colors stick way better to that and you have a, such such a good color impact so I really really like the mattes the shimmers um this one was really really good I thought immediately and um, these two needed to be built up a little bit more they needed a bit more help though I have to say also in defending <laughs> those shimmers that I went in with that uh, concealer brush which is not the perfect brush for applying uh, shimmers and once I then uh, re-intensified them and I used a like a stiff packing brush that I would usually use for for this purpose then they performed much much better and they were buildable so um, as I told you before I'm just using this technique using this um, concealer brush first of all to sort of first apply them in order to just, just be very accurate in accurate accurate in the way I work so that's what I do and then I always go in with a different brush um, brush Oh man, with a different brush to intensify the shadows. So that's so that's what I do. And considering all of this, all of the shadows worked super well. Also the white. Let's not forget the white. This also worked really, really well. And um, I'm super excited about the result that I got for a palette that I think was like fourteen dollars. Was it $14 or $11 or something like this? Like it was super affordable. And also the shipment, um, this palette got to me from England to Israel in five days through customs, through everything. So that was absolutely, absolutely cool. I really, really loved the service. I really love the outcome. I do like how it performed. I mean, what's not to like, right? So um, really amazing. So the lashes, I used Sakara lashes in the style I think 23 you'll find it in the description box all of what I'm using obviously you'll find in the description box foundation and and bronzer and all of that it's just you know it's always the same so uh, I'm not gonna 
you know, bother you with that one. So anyway, I really love this. Let me know what you think um, about the colors, about the style, about all of that, about um, maybe you have experiences with um, Makeup Revolution that you want to share because you know what? I'm really getting excited about this. There might be other palettes who are not as good, but this one, definitely, I would, I would go ahead and buy this definitely so i'm so glad that i have it i'm so glad <laughs> so this is my this is my baby all right so that's what we did today i hope you liked it if you did then please give the video a like and if you're new here by all means subscribe to my channel and i'll see you here next time for my next video which is going to be super soon because i have been releasing videos almost every day now because this is all part of my therapy to get over my fear to be here <laughs> and i'm actually i'm feeling so much better already so you're all with me on this journey of getting through this and just being really really comfortable here and i thank you for being here because it means the world to me and this is my place where i want to be and i'm just digging in my heels and putting down my feet and you know i'm i'm building my place here so huh, sometimes that's not easy and it does not come without a price so that's why we are <laughs> we, we just you know we have to we have to work on it together. So that's what we are doing. I hope you enjoyed and come back next time. And that's probably going to be tomorrow. So up until then, go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.